I'm not even gonna hold you like for real. <laughs> I'm off with Vlogmas. Um, I'm gonna stop referencing the days because that's not gonna be a thing for me anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna just vlog and post as I vlog, okay? And you may or may not get close to 30 days worth of vlogs. You may get like 25 days worth of vlogs. And that depends on how consistent I remain as when the holiday gets even closer. Um, I think I might have turned you on for a hot second yesterday, but um, that content might not even make it into the vlog because it really wasn't nothing. I spent most of the day in yesterday working on some things for business. I also just talked to on the phone a lot. I talked to my friend Monica. I had a physique trip for a couple days. So we caught up for a little bit. I talked to my mom for a little bit. We caught up for a little bit. Um, I just spent a lot of time on the phone with her on Monday. I don't know if I got any content. You may or may not see content from Monday. But I spent a lot of the day in the house on the phone trying to take care of business. Like... You know how you had them days sometimes when you need to handle something and you just have to commit to just being on the phone and then putting you on hold and transferring you and putting you on hold and transferring you. You know what I'm saying? That can take a long time. Like, on that day, the day that I did that, I did that on Monday. And I literally did not get off the phone and completely have my business handled until about 3 p.m. It was insane insane on the phone one company to the next company next company hold drop the call have to call back go through the whole process it was a mess but with that being said my last two days were a blur um i don't know if i'm gonna number these vlogs or not i might number them but they probably just not gonna be daily vlogs you know it's just gonna be a number of vlog for vlogmas and we'll see how many i actually achieve by the end um so today is uh wednesday and um, I got, as you see, I got some orders packed. I actually did that last night. Um, I really need to clean the office um, and get that situated. But I think that I'm going to do that a little later on. I think what I'm going to do is um, I pack these up so I can get my morning started right away with business. So I'm going to make me something to eat. I'm going to go to the fashion district. I'm going to um, browse around there, see if I see anything to purchase and to shoot this week and to start planning things to bring with me to shoot for either the end of December, beginning of January. As being in LA is like pure, although I have some good friends that I love and adore and they treat me like family, I still directly connect LA with work. I directly connect LA with hustle, grind, and bustle. And as long as I'm here, that's all I do, right? And um, I was wrapping my mind around just being here in LA for the holidays, but I kind of knew that meant I wasn't gonna turn off anything work-related and to allow myself to get a break to regroup for the new year. Yeah, yeah, I had a kind of hectic last couple of days. It's been hard to constantly turn on the camera and be consistent. So I apologize about that. But again, I'm just gonna let you know what my Vlogmas is gonna look like. And my Vlogmas is just gonna be consisting, posting throughout the week. Maybe every two days, every three days. That's what it's gonna look like for me. And I'll just compile it together and just do several vlogs throughout the week. That's what's gonna be best. It was a lot of pressure for me to try to do daily vlogs. I realized last night when I tried to turn the camera on, I was forcing myself to try to record something because I didn't get much throughout the day. And I realized I didn't like that. I don't like that. I like my channel to be authentic and I like it to be natural. And I mean, I just want it to be what it is. You're gonna notice that it's repetitious even if I post every couple days. But forcing myself to turn the camera on and I don't know, I just feel like it's like putting out mediocre content because yeah, I just don't like it. I like trying, having to force myself to create a vlog every day it, i literally feel and it could just be the virgo in me i feel like i'm pushing out media mediocre content like oh this is just so mediocre maybe my content in general is mediocre but at least i don't feel that way somebody else can feel that way but i don't want to feel that way about my content and when i just post a video of me looking in the camera saying the same thing five times in a day and putting it on the internet i just feel like yeah nah that's not that's not, mm, I don't like that. So maybe it's the fact that I need to plan out Vlogmas a little more. Again, this is my first Vlogmas, so it's a learning experience. Maybe I need to plan it out a little more, but um, 
yeah that's what i feel like so far and i've been too busy to plan it out but it is what it is today i'm gonna clean the office after i finish doing my business and that's why i'm getting a head start right now i'm gonna head out there get what i got to do done and then i want to head home and get here at least by like maybe 3 30 is at 3 30 at the latest maybe so that i can start organizing the office and that might take me a couple of days to be 100 percent because i need to really organize it i'm just gonna start slowly organizing my my office and more so trying to concept come up with what i'm gonna try to shoot this week so that i can sell some things up until i leave and then go ahead and slowly pull that door down it's been real real rough <laughs> It's been a real one, all right. <laughs> it's been a real one. All right, make me some food. Um, I probably just throw together a quick breakfast taco. Yes, breakfast taco. And if you wanna know, I haven't had one in probably like two weeks. Um, I've been eating Special special K. And I wanna say the last couple of days, I haven't even had breakfast. I just had some fruit and nuts. So I am gonna make me probably a breakfast taco real quick. Let me make sure. Yeah, maybe I'll make a breakfast taco right now because I did have someone who requested me to make the um, sauce that I make for my breakfast tacos. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll make that now. I, I was just gonna put some eggs on some tortilla and call it a day not really do anything fancy but since i did have that request maybe i will go ahead and make that real quick i think i have enough of the ingredients to make it let's see Basically, I'm gonna make a very small amount. Again, I'm only gonna have two tacos. Um, usually I make a large amount, but I'm gonna make a small amount because I'm probably gonna be making it again. Um, Cause me and Christina are gonna do, I think like a taco night before I leave. We're gonna do like a taco night before I leave. So I'll probably do some fish tacos. Um, Alright, so disclaimer, I don't have any measurements. So you will have to kind of eyeball and determine how much of what to add based on how much you're trying to make, right? So again, what I'm about to make is gonna be for about two tacos, just enough to drizzle two tacos, right? So what I typically do is I get some mayo. I'm using the McCormick's mayonnaise. Um, I buy this because it, it's the only one that comes this small. I don't like having huge mayos. I don't use a lot of mayo. This has lasted me several months, so. Um, yeah, I usually buy mine this little, but I use the McCormick's, and for me right now, I'm gonna just do about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of mayo. about a teaspoon right there okay then I'm gonna do I have some may, um, sour cream this is just some off-brand sour cream and I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of sour cream so I guess what will help you when you make this is basically doing one part mayo one part sour cream. So if you are making a large batch, you wanna do, if you're gonna do three fourths sour cream, you wanna do three fourths mayo. Um, then basic chipotle and adobo sauce. You can get it on the International Owl. It's just chipotles and adobo sauce, small can. Um, me personally, I just poured mine in a Ziploc bag and I store it in my fridge. Um, I probably will go ahead and get rid of this before I leave for the holiday and just buy another can when I get back. But this has lasted me several months as well. And I'm glad because it's like, I don't use it a lot. So there's Chipotle's in here. I actually only use the sauce. 
So I'm going to grip the chipotles in my hand. And me personally, I'm going to drizzle. Let's do it. I guess I can try to measure. Let's do, oops, see if the chipotle is getting in there. This is about a tablespoon of chipotle in a dough. Oil. Let's do, I like mine to be real chipotle. -y. Maybe about a little over a tablespoon of chipotle in a double sauce. Um, may add more, but I usually eyeball it. Um, then we got honey. Now my honey is to the bottom, so you know how it gets kind of stiff at the end. That's what mine looks like. Um, but I'm still gonna use it. So I'm just gonna take about a little less than a teaspoon of honey. Do mm, I even want that much? I may not even put all of that in there. Just a drizzle. I guess we could just say a drizzle of honey. Mine's is just kind of stiff, so my drizzle is looking a little bigger. All right, that's how much honey I'm gonna put in there. <laughs> um, I have some garlic powder. Anytime you see me with this little pack, it's just garlic powder. I need to get some little seasoning things to put my loose seasoning in. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder in it. Not even enough measure measuring. I'm just a sprinkle, a sprinkle of garlic powder. I also have chipotle chili pepper. So basically it's chipotle powder, okay? I got this again um, in like the international section. I live in LA so again, we have a lot of um, Latina and Mexican stuff. So we have a, a section where they have like the herbs and just baggies. So this is where I found this. Um, you can find this on a regular season and now. Um, it's just really expensive. I think I might have paid a, maybe a tad over two dollars for this but when you get chipotle as a mccormick brand or like one of the brands that come in a seasoning pack container they're like four and five dollars for the chipotle so me personally i suggest getting it in a baggie if you can i'm not sure if they have that everywhere um i don't have a measurement for this either just a sprinkle of that it's already Chipotle in there. I just want a little extra kick of Chipotle. And I put lime. My lime is kind of dry. So I might have to use some lemon. We'll see how much lime I can get out of here. I want to say the juice of a half of a lime is what I will use for this amount. This is just uh, one fourth of a lime. But I would use a half of a lime if you can. And you want to mix. Again, like. I use the juice of the adobe sauce, like the adobo sauce, so I don't have to really have a whole bunch of chunks of chipotles in here. Um, if you um, want, you can always take your chipotles and the adobo sauce and blend it to just make a smooth paste or, you know, make it so it's less chunky. Um, I just try to use the sauce because I just want the flavor. But I do have a couple, I have a little bit of peppers in here. But I'm not one of those people that like a super amount of heat. I do like, I don't mind a kick though. I don't mind a bit of a kick. So keep that in mind when you make it. And if you make it and you taste it and it's a little too spicy for your taste, just level it off. I say with more sour cream to cool it off. Me, I don't like mine to be super mayo-y. So that's why I do half, half. So if I were to feel like if it were too spicy, I wouldn't use mayo to level it off. I would use um, sour cream. And I probably would use some more lime and some more honey to balance it out. 
I know the ingredients. My brother, when I made it when I was in Denver, because I did make um, salmon tacos when I was in Denver for the family. And it was my first time making the sauce for them. And my brother, when I had originally told him about like my adobo, I mean, my chipotle taco sauce, he frowned his face up and he was just like, honey, lime, none of this sounds like it goes well together, you know? But I feel like when you're not that knowledgeable about food, you don't understand that honey and lime are just, they're just uh, things to kind of like balance. The sweetness, the tartness, it's just to balance out everything. It's not like a huge flavor, shall I say. You can't taste honey. You can taste the tartness of the lime, but like that's, you're supposed to taste that to go with the chipotle. So you just blend it, it's kind of, um, it can be a little clumpy. Let me see, I don't know how to let you see this without spilling it. There we go. It could be a little clumpy, so you just keep mixing and keep mixing until you get it pretty smooth. But this should be the texture of it. And me personally, I like to see the specs. I wanna see the Chipotle. I need to know that it's in there. Um, I do add a sprinkle of salt, uh, just a little bit in the base of my hand. Sprinkle of salt, just a little bit in the base of my hand. That's all I'm gonna use. And that's it, y'all. Restaurant style Chipotle taco sauce. When I tell you this stuff is good, let's see if I got enough lime in here. I might have to add some lemon because I didn't have a lot of lime. Yeah, I need a tad more tart. Just a little bit. And when I say a tad, I'm talking very minor. Like that should be enough. I taste the sweetness, I taste the spicy. Yep, that's it. That's it, that's all. Enjoy. I'm outside in a damn jeep, right outside. Baby girl, you know me Still with the dolls that I grew beside All the niggas around me And it's a lot of sauce. Like y'all see, I only used one tablespoon of mayo, one tablespoon of sour cream, and some uh, like uh, I would say a half a lime, but mine's is like half lemon, half lime. But um, and it came out to be a decent amount. I probably could eat off of this at least like two or three more times. so much in here it's definitely enough to feed two people like to give two like ramekins to each person it's definitely enough
Alright. I would hate me if I was you. <laughs> like, hate me. A, I forgot you here all day. It's dark outside. And you know that whole timeline I had about being back by like 3 and cleaning the office? Yeah, it's probably about 5 o'clock. I'm just getting inside. For good reasons though, um, for good reasons, I was able to get what I needed to get to ship off. I had to ship some things off that I didn't have. I was able to get my hands on those. And I was able to get um, a couple pieces of shoot tomorrow so that I can market and sell them on Friday. Um, I'll show you what those are. They're super cute. Um, I got them for really good prices. Really good prices, so I'm excited about that. Um, I just got inside. My friend Karen just called me up like, hey girl, can I come shopping? Cause her, she works for Nike um, at the photo studio and they're having a Christmas party. Not gonna lie, I miss things like that. Like I, I think when I talk to her, I talk to her about that kind of often. And I really miss the camaraderie of just having like coworkers and things of that nature. Don't get me wrong, it be like drama sometimes and sometimes you don't wanna be bothered with it. And I can't say I miss it all the time, but I definitely miss it around the time of the year like now. Cause you know, holiday parties and stuff like that, that'd be fun, getting dressed up and going and spending all the company's money. Like, yes, let's do it. All the cocktails, all the dinners, all the bits and bites and appetizers for free. Not for free, really, because really you got you got labor out of me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, y'all know I be spraying and wiping. Every time I be on um, YouTube, and I clean up. It's so weird. Um, so the office is still a mess, and she wants to come shop. So I'm like, holy crap. But so I'm gonna go in there and I'm just gonna I'm not gonna clean up I'm just gonna try to like tidy up and create space and pull out the things that she can consider for this party so I got about an hour so I'm gonna go in the office and get that together I'm gonna bring you in there I guess I mean where the fuck should I really even start I got holes that I'm keeping in the dark I got my niggas cross the street living large thinking back to the fact that they dead thought my raps were the facts so they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. Yeah, they twins, I could tell they ass apart. I got big packs coming on the way. I got big stacks coming out to save. I got Lil Max with me, he the way. It's a big gap between us and the game. In the next life, I'm trying to stay paid. When I die, I put my money in the grave. When I die, I put my money in the grave. I really gotta put a couple niggas in their place. Really just slapped every nigga in a race. I really might tap for this nigga on my face. CC, let it slap with the bass. I used to say pose with a mask and a cake. Now I'm like, nah, love, I'm good, go away. Ain't about to die with no money, I done gave it. I was on top when that shit meant a lot. Still on top, like I'm scared of the drop. Still on top, and these niggas wanna swap. Niggas wanna swap like it's lost in a box. I don't wanna change, cause I'm good where I'm at. Small top, so I'm always good where I'm at. For the junior, Jazzy, Baby J. Tell them what I got, put my money in a crack. She fuck a nigga, then she on to the next When you live in large, she ain't all with a Mac When you niggas think it's small in a mall with a rack Roll with us if you really wanna get it Go get a half a million in a Sprinter Phone ringing, bitches you know a big tipple I got the hook up in it, really no limit Dead bookies in you nigga DNA Ricky smell is indicated with the gate Little nigga just another state case Very my motherfucker chase gang time bounce Gotta count on my allowance Oh. Put it on my Period. Save pose with a mask and a cave. Now I'm like, nah, love, I'm good, go 